My intellect is without limit. Are you tired of meal? Are you tired of Rakdos? Hand disruption? I bet you are. Well, I have the solution for you. <laughs> Stacks back. So I know I was a big advocate for meal. I was one of the first people on the meal train. And I, I, I figured, you know, I feel obligated to give everybody an answer now for meal. So that's what this is. This is a good answer against hand disruption, good answer against meal. Those are two um, popular strategies right now, hand disruption and meal. A lot of people playing Rakdos, a lot of people playing Rogues. So um, this deck is really, really strong against Rogues. Um, it's good against hand disruption too and, and uh, Rakdos. Um, if you're playing best of three, you might have to go into the sideboard to combat Rakdos a little bit. But it is the the main deck, the main 60 is good against Rakdos. But sometimes you may have to go into the sideboard to get that extra oomph to go against Rakdos. But I'm going to dive into the deck here. But before I do, I just want to remind everybody, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button, comment on this video. I would love to have you. As a permanent viewer, <laughs> uh, full disclaimer, I, I smoked some sativa plants before shooting this intro, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, get into the deck here. So we got uh, three Blood, Blood Chief's Thirst, uh, three Malakir Rebirth. Uh, I'll, I'll get into why I have three of this card in here after I run through the deck list. This card is really good in here. Uh, the all-star chain whip uh, Arachnir. This guy is the bomb against. He's the main all-star against rogues. Rogues, they do not have an answer for this guy. So rogue decks, you might as well get used to seeing the spiders because I'm going to push spiders for rogues until rogues are no more. <laughs> uh, moving on, we got three eliminate, four heartless act, one skyclave shade. Um, I had two Skyclave Shade in here, but then I cut it down to one because it doesn't block. And there's a lot of times where you need a, you need a blocker. So it's good to have. It's good to have the one in the graveyard if they end up killing it. Or, you know, you you obligate your opponent to have to remove it. They have to give up a creature. It's, a, it's a, attacking 3-1. So they can't just sit around and just take three all day. So they got to remove it. But you play a land and you get to just go ahead and play it back. So it's a good nuisance to have in the deck. Uh, two uh, Fiend Artisan. I'm only running the two. Um, I had four, but it felt kind of bad. Like, because you're going to be escaping a lot. You're going to be escaping and you're going to be pulling creatures from the graveyard with Nyssa. So it's going to be shrinking your Fiend Artisan. So having four just felt bad. Two feels better. Um, so I, I think it's, it's good. I mean, you know, Fiend Artisan, he's good early game and he's good late game. If you got a lot of stuff in the grave. But you're going to be pulling stuff in your grave late game. So um, it's more so a, a card that you want to see early game in this deck. Just to go ahead and get in early damage, especially against Mill. Uh, Demonic Embrace, only the one copy. I had two, cut it down to three, uh, excuse me, cut it down to one. Um, it's good to put on a Skyclave Shade. So if you get Skyclave Shade and Demonic Embrace in your graveyard, um, that's really good to have in your graveyard. You want both of these in the graveyard together because you can just recur both of these pretty much as, as long as you can pay for it. Um, Demonic Embrace does cost you three life. But we got Murderous Rider, so you can start getting low on life. Uh, of course, Murderous Rider, he he doubles his removal, and he doubles with the um, attack and lifelink. So you go ahead and play that, get your Demonic Embrace, put it on your Murderous Rider, and then you can start gaining five life. So that's some good synergy going there. Um, Grackmaw, Skyclave, I haven't seen anybody else playing this guy, but this guy is really good um, in this deck. Um, I'm surprised I don't see a lot more people playing this, but... Um, we're not really taking advantage of uh, putting the extra plus one, plus one counters on, on it, but um, just the value that we get if they end up killing it and it leaves behind a token, that's um, that's enough to have it in this deck, especially considering that um, Nissa brings it back so easily and brings it back bigger. So she brings it back as a 5-5, five, five, and then they kill it and it leaves a 5-5 five, five token. Um, what we really want to be doing is mutating Gem Razor over it, um, Gem Razor mutated over Grackmaw is like, it, it's the bomb. So you get a 7-7 seven, seven Trampler with Gem Razor mutated over Grackmaw. If they go to kill it, which a lot of times they won't kill it when it's just a 3-3 a three, three body because they're like, oh, I could just chump it. 
But you put gem rays over, get that 7 7 trampler, um, which you can do that on turn four. Hold up one mana for Malakir Rebirth. Once they go to try to kill it, you go ahead and use Malakir's Rebirth, um, and then you get it back. So you'll end up getting the token that the Grackmaw leaves from it dying. Then you'll get the Grackmaw back, and you'll get the Gem Razor back. So you turn one body into three um, with Malakir's Rebirth when they try to destroy it. So super good synergy there. Uh, two uh, Questing Bees. We all know Questing Bee. He needs no introduction. Then we got three Nissa of the Shadow Bow. So um, I don't think I've seen any other decks playing Nissa. I, I believe I'm, if if I'm not the only one, I'm one of the only ones. I, as far as content creators, I haven't seen anybody else playing Nissa. So I could be wrong. If, if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments that I'm wrong and tell me who else is playing Nissa. But um, yeah, Nissa is really sweet in this deck because she she pretty much gives anything in the deck escape <laughs> without having to exile stuff from your graveyard. So yeah, and I only got one copy of ancient green warden in here I, I would like to fit two but it's just uh the game it doesn't feel good when you draw multiple copies of ancient green warden you want the one copy but once you get two in your in your hand uh it just doesn't feel good so i just got the one copy and you'll see the synergy with um with nissa and ancient green warden which is outstanding i mean getting the the double landfall triggers just i mean you got a fable passage in the graveyard with a green warden and a nissa out you pretty much have unlimited uh, negative fives, but you, you can negative five Nissa almost every turn, basically. <laughs> so um, you'll, you'll constantly be pulling stuff back from your grave. Don't sleep on the 3-3 three, three elemental tokens with Menace. Those have come in and mattered um, lots of times. Um, many matchups with me playing um, this deck, so they definitely matter. And uh, the two Pelucranoses, so, excuse me, two Pelucranos. Uh, yeah, everybody knows Peluca knows. He's definitely good, too. So then for the land base, I got uh, one Castle Lockwain, six Swamp, eight Forest, four Temple of Malady, and three Fable Passage. That gives us 22 lands, I believe. Oh, sorry. Let me get out of that. Uh, 22 lands. Yeah, it gives us 22 lands. But we're running the three Rebirth, so it's actually 25 lands. Um, and then for the sideboard, I got one Duress, three Agonizing Remorse, one Tamarit, Three Elspeth's Nightmare, two Kazandu Mammoth, uh, one Extinction Event, two Kazandu Stomper, and two Agathe Agadim's Awakening. So for the si this sideboard here, um, the Elspeth's Nightmare and the Tamarets are for uh, going against uh, Cycling Decks. So Cycling is still a thing. People are still trying to play it. You will encounter it sometimes. So you'll be you'll be thankful that you have these in your graveyard. Uh, I might even recommend just like taking out the Tamarit and putting in uh, Tomon's Crypt because Tomon's Crypt is standard, right? I think it is. Um, so yeah, you could you could take him out. I just, I prefer Tamarit because of the life gain. Um, the life gain does matter. Um, but yeah, then I got the Agonizing Remorse for Hand Disruption. Uh, but the bigger part, so when I, when I first... In the beginning of this video, I said that you may have to go into your sideboard to combat some Rakdos sticks, right? So this is the game plan with, with these, these cards right here. Um, the Mammoth and the Awakening, these are lands. So you can play these as lands and you don't have to worry about discarding them because Rakdos is going to make you discard a whole bunch of cards. Um, you, you bring in the, the, the Stomper into the deck. And Stomper is probably going to end up in the graveyard. You know, they're probably going to make you discard. This is six drop. So unless you peel it off the top when you got six mana, it's most likely going to end up in your graveyard. Um, but then you, if you have Nissa out, you go ahead and you can, you can escape your, your Stomper back into play. And then you can bounce your lands. So you can bounce two lands when he comes into play. So you can... And this this has mattered in best of three. This has mattered more than once, actually. So you bounce your awakening or you bounce your mammoth, um, whichever one you want to, you know, bounce one of each if you got one of each in play, and um, you get awakening back to your hand. By this time, you're in the late game, right? So they probably don't have as much to make you. They probably don't have many things in their hand to make you go ahead and discard this. 
So you got it in your hand. If you get to untap with it, you can pull a whole lot of stuff from the graveyard with this. So that's the game plan behind these to combat Rakdos. It's just a another dynamic to help you try to get around all of the hand disruption that they're going to, that they're going to do because you know Rakdos is going to probably make you have no hand by turn four. So you, you just got to try to play around that. Um, extinction event. Um, in case, that, that's just the one of, just in case you're playing against something really aggro and they, get, they go wide and get ahead of you really quickly. So um, just a single copy of that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the sideboard. If you want to play best of three, that's what I got for the sideboard. And it's, I've played some best of three with this deck, and it, that that sideboard is has worked for me. Um, but you know, you probably have to tweak it to your needs and your desires and your wishes, which is fine. But that's just what I recommend for the sideboard. So that's enough talking about the deck. Let's go ahead and get into the action. Well, I guess. Spell land makes it okay. Go ahead and try it out. Might die though. Going up against the killer cat. Oh, it's not rogues. Thought it was going to be the infamous rogues. Is this, uh. Golgari Adventures versus Golgari Escape. Should be an interesting matchup. I'm fearful of my life though. I'm 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 my opponent's a killer. I'm just stacked Rockman. I don't have killer in my name. Um uh, I'm just going to take these ones for now. Not going to waste removal on Falmar Knight. I'd rather kill something that's worth it. I'm trying to be like Killer Cat. It's inspiring. It's my role model. Alright, it's enough of your ones. Seeing as how you ain't playing nothing else. Alright, um, he's got three mana open up there. I'm pretty sure this questing beast is going to eat removal. Yep. Alright. What the fall my knight? Alright. Trying to think, what do I want to play here? I guess I just play Pelucranos and let him. If he has another Heartless Act, he can only shrink my Pelucranos. Um, but he may have other removal. Do I really want to lose my Pelucranos? Uh, I think I. Well. Play Nissa. No. Let's just go ahead and play for Lucanos. Let him eat the removal. I'm sure he's gonna die to something here. Removal. Alright, Murder Strider. Alright, so this is this is some Golgari adventures. So I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna run this. Uh, should just run this gym raise out. Let him eat, eat the next removal spell. Let him get it, get it all out of his hand. Murder Rider. <laughs> Man, how do they always have it? All my night putting in work. All right, put it, play this crack mall. Removal? No, Edgewall. Edgewall Innkeeper has to die. 
Yeah, let's, let's kill it. Can't have you getting card advantage. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to just... I don't want him gaining life. So let me kill your murderous rider. Hold my lamp and this uh, swing with my Grackmon now. All right, he's got five cards in hand and a Murderous Rider in exile. He's got all the card advantage right now. It's okay. It's all right. I have a Grackma token. <laughs> the spawn of Grackma. He has another death touching fall my night. All right. Um Let me just go ahead and play Nissa. I can get in with menace damage. Oh no, I can I can reanimate something right here. Go ahead and unearth something. Escape something. Um, questing beast maybe, or I really want the questing beast to come back as a six six. But Grackmaw is the better, because I'm sure he'll probably eat removal, so I get some value. Since this guy seems to be packing all the removal. Alright. He's gotta he's gotta make a choice here. He can well he probably can kill everything. He probably can kill my Nissa and the the Grack Maul. But he's gonna have to deal with the 5-5 five five token. If he doesn't kill Nissa, things are gonna get nutty here with this Green Warden. Because it's ancient. All right, killing my Grackmaw, leaving me a five-five. All right, playing the flyer. All right, well, let's go ahead and play the Green Warden. Get Mrs. Loyalty up. Give me a forest. Let's go ahead and animate one of these lands. Swing in for lots. All right, what you got? My green warden is going to be a problem. You better answer it. <laughs> Man, these decks. What what is what is going on with these decks that are like eighty percent removal? Those decks don't win, people. All right, my my spider is gonna block your knight here. And guess what? My green warden comes back. <laughs> hi <laughs> Green Warden says hi Power my Nissa back up <laughs> yeah. Well, plenty of removal That's always a good thing Oh, especially against Mono Red Hitch Digit Let's go ahead and kill your champion not a champion today. Well, he's a dead one. <laughs> Robin Hood? You know they always have it. Robber? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, Bone Crusher. Alright. Well, hopefully, uh... Oh, yeah, that has to die. Kill it! 
Alright. Uh, I don't need this. I'd like to get another land so I don't have to put down my Rebirth. I can play my Questing Beast on Curve. Uh, let's kill your champion. Don't want him being a champion today. Oh, infamous shock. Roger that. Alright, more removal. Well, I gotta play this tap now. Didn't draw land. This digit ain't drawing no lands. Sending those stumps to my face though. Alright, let me let me send this questing beast to your face. <laughs> Land? Oh, we got land. Alright. Well, let's kill him. Hold two mana up to kill the next one. Let's get in for four. I'm gonna win this race. Hitch Digit. He can't save you. Let's kill it. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and play Nissa. Landfall trigger. Animate a land. Let's get in for seven. Response? Oh, robber. Good old Robin Hood. He finally joined the party. I going to attack Nissa? Alright, I'm going to kill Robin Hood just because I don't like him. <laughs> Pretty workable hand. Guess I'll roll with this. Got all, got all the needed pieces here. I'm going to go ahead and fetch my forest now. Going up against Ratfur. Oh, Diamond Tier 1. This might be the one. This might be the game. This might be the game to get into Mythic. All I gotta do is beat stacks. I'm in the Mythic. Is this rogues? Uh, oh wait. Oh man, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna play that. I wanted to play my swamp. Oh, and it is rogues. Oh man. I'm gonna get punished now. Ratford is gonna punish me. It's all right. You're digging your own grave, milling me. All right. Um. Uh, man, I really screwed myself up here. Wait, no. Um. Uh, I don't want to do that. Thought about playing a spider. Uh, uh we'll just play uh Grack Maul. Didn't have counter magic up right now, so I'd rather get Grack Maul down. He presents the most value given that I misplayed. Because then I'm I'm under the influence of Sativa. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, I would prefer not to block with my Grackmaw right now. Because I want to be able to. Uh, I want to be able to use Rebirth. So I can get the token and I can get my Grackmaw back. So I think I just take 8 here. Alright. I really wanted that to be a land. Uh, could kill the flyer, or I could play the spider to block it. Oh man, not getting land and then playing the wrong land really put me in a bad spot here. Just pass here and see what he does. See what he's gonna play. Oh man. Nighthawk. Alright. 
Yeah, that definitely has to die. Rat first trying to get in the mythic here. Um, let me go ahead and use my. Uh, wait, let me let me block one of these. I'm gonna block this thief. Now I'm gonna use my rebirth here. All right, down to three. All right, another rebirth. Uh, play this as a land because I can't seem to get land. Kill your Nighthawk. And I can play my spider to block the flyer so I don't go down to one. Pass. Alright. We're digging ourselves out of this hole here. Sorry guys. I, I let the flowers persuade me to make the wrong play. But it's okay. I shall survive. Unless he, what is he doing? He's looking at my stuff. All right, bouncing my, bouncing my spider. All right, that means I'm going down to one. Uh, yeah, let me, let me block with this one because I'd rather have two bodies on the field. All right, can't use this rebirth, so. Let's go ahead and kill your flyer first. Uh, I wanna, I wanna mutate or do I wanna hold it up? Uh, trying to think. Could just play the flyer or I could play the gym razor. Oh man. Just play this as a land. Play the gym razor. No, no, let me let me not do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me go ahead and mutate. I may need to reach. Uh, I don't know if he's got a flash, the thief. So let me just attack with one. All right, no thief. Gotta be extra careful here. I'm determined not to lose this. Uh, let me go ahead and play the spider. Exile, 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 exile. Kill your flyer. Kill it. Uh, go ahead and swing just with the gem razor. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna swing both of these. Put the pressure on. Extinction event? Yes, no. About the only thing that can bail you out here. No mythic today. No mythic against stacks. Sorry. Rogues, not gonna get you there. <laughs> Rogues! <laughs> Keep it. Oh. Got the oven. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I need that. No cat, though. I don't see oven too often. Well, this is a food deck. I don't think I've... I don't see oven at all ever since cat got banned. Banning cat was like banning the oven <laughs> by consequence. <laughs> Just on, on circumstances of cat not being around. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and play Grack Maul. Gonna is claim the firstborn still legal? Can he can he claim my Brackmaw? Oh no. He's stomping me. Probably gonna play his giant to block my Brackmaw. 
But he's going to be in for a rude surprise when Grackmaw becomes a 7 7 Gym Razor. <laughs> You play your you gonna play your bone crush? That's what I would do. Alright. He can't save you. Uh alright, let me let me play my temple here. See what I got on top. Oh yeah, I'll leave that there. I'd love to have a 1010 10 flying gym razor. <laughs> I think I'm gonna blow up the trailer brick rooms. Let's get that out of here. We don't we don't want you eating brick rooms. Response? You can sack one of your creatures. Get into the food. Although that's not what I would do. You're more than welcome. Alright. Let's get in for seven. So make sure I play my lands in correct sequence this time. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that there. That's a swamp. That probably means rogues again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Turn one swamp is getting to be infamous. Infamous lead into thieves. Guild enforcer. <laughs> oh, two of them. Alright. Well, that's fine. Go ahead and mill me. I like the mill. Um uh, Go ahead and play this and I'm gonna kill one of these thieves. Cause I don't want them both becoming three twos or whatever they become. Play my spider here for some defense. Oh, why does he fly? He doesn't have wings. I'm um, taking four. All right. Um, let's go ahead and kill your four two. And uh, pass. Oh, another, another one. Got so much consistency going here. Very consistent. Alright. Uh let's get this. Yeah, let's get this tap land down. Keep a rebirth. I doubt it stays there. Uh let me just hold on to this. See what else he plays. Probably another soaring. Soaring Thought Thief. <laughs> Alright. Wind Robber. It doesn't have wings either. I guess it has the little glidey things on his armpits. Like a squirrel. Alright. Swing in. I want the meal triggers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the let the meal triggers go on the stack first before I kill one of them. Alright. Uh yeah, let's go ahead and kill one. I'll take two. You just don't realize you're digging your own grave by milling me. Uh let's kill your Let me play this first. Uh, let's play a spider. Let's exile some lands and spells here. Spider will kill your soaring thought thief. No point in trying to kill the robbers. You'll just draw cards off of them. I've had enough of the mill now. 
You've me you've done me enough favor. You wanna sack your wind robbers? Cause they can't do anything else. <laughs> At least that's what I would do. Oh This is about to end badly for you. I don't foresee you winning this. Holding up counter magic? Uh you wanna counter my Brackmaw? Oh, no priority was held. I wanna I should have attacked. But I don't wanna get caught by Zareth. I gotta I gotta be mindful of Zareth. So I can't leave myself completely open. Alright. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Go ahead and fetch up here. Guess I'll get a forest. Doesn't matter. Play for Lucranos. Get rid of these Nissas. Can't get them back. I don't want Zara stealing those. And uh, I'll go ahead and swing in with these two. Hang one back on blocking duty. Well, he only had an island. He only had one island open, right? So he couldn't even flash. He killed my Panukanos. All right, now now he's got flash mana open. I'm just gonna play Panukanos again. Get rid of these guys. On the lands. There's no outs for you, Rogue player. Same drill. Swinging with these two. Extinction event? Oh, that shot. He can't save you. He can't save you either. Oh, Demonic Embrace. Let's put that on Pelucranos. <laughs> Face! <laughs> uh, I got a spell land. It's black, so... Oh, then I draw a swamp. That's good. Going up against the mighty Thanos. I didn't know Thanos played MTG. Thanos, please don't snap me. Don't snap me away. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get Grackmaw down. Thanos, are you going to snap my Grackmaw away? Thanos is playing Jess Guy. It appears. Just guy. Oh, midnight clock. That good anti meal tech. <laughs> All right. Uh, might as well play this as a land. Uh, swing in. I sense a board wipe. I don't want to overcommit to the board here. Oh, oh man! I don't get any value off my Grackmaw. All right, uh, might as well go ahead and play Pelucanos. He shatters the sky, get some value off of it. Play my Spider. What threatening presence! I have seven power on the board. No board wipe? Alright. What is that? 
Cyndaplasm. Oh, okay. It was killing my spider, huh? Shrinking my my pookie. Um. Uh, okay. Thanos. You have all the stones. Always. Let me go ahead and rebirth my Pelucranos here. Uh oh, response. Oh, negate. All right. Well, Pookie's going bye bye. All right, let me go ahead and play my Nissa since you're tapped out. You can take Trice to the dome. The land will devour your face. Because Nissa says so. Oh no. Killing my Nissa? No, just you didn't want me to minus five my Nissa. Uh, well, I got all these creature kill cards in my hand. There's dead cards now. I'm gonna play my spider. I don't think this person's playing any creatures. Just uh, hit for Trice again. Unless he kills my land. Cower before, the elements. Cower before my trees. Thanos. Uh oh, he's inching closer to having all the stones. Fresh hand. Will he make it? Oh man. Uh, yeah, I might as well save my spider. Spider, I save it you. I, failed him. I might get a gem razor here. Gem Razor for the win. No, <laughs> of course not. I play two spiders. He's got mana open up there, so I don't want it. I don't want my escape to get countered. He may be able to counter it. I would prefer for him to tap out. All right. Snapping away my spiders. Alright. Uh, well, I'm going to go for the unearth. Oh, the un escape, I mean. He counters this. Um, that's one less counter I have to worry about to, to counter Nissa. No counter. But you can't storm wrath my spider away now. Thanos. What you got? Sark Typhoon. What is the end game for this deck? How do you win? Narset? Narset's ultimate, maybe? Uh oh. So you gonna discard a Shark Typhoon? Kill my spider? No, negate. Alright, well. That's a good game. It's a good game. Nissa says hi to your face. <laughs> Sketchy lands. I don't want a mulligan. I don't want a mulligan, Shelston. Mulligan, mulligans have not been nice to me with this deck. Shelston, you chose not the mulligan either, huh? Maybe you got more lands than me. Uh, as much as I would like you, Nissa, I cannot keep you. I need lands. Oh man, another Nissa. I'm uh, I'm very stoned right now. 
What are, you, what are you waiting for? What are you holding priority for? Let's have a draw spell of some kind. Uh, let me play my spider. Oh, it's looking at my spider. Oh. Oh no, no, exile. Exile of my spider. Alright. Well, let me get my Grek Maul down. Uh oh. Counter magic? Oh man. Oh, it's the is it is it counters? Is it? Alright. Gonna counter this one. Oh <laughs> I thought he I thought he had another counter. Alright. Always looking at it. Scorching Dragonfire? Again? Exile? Oh. Just borrow. Alright. That's not as bad. Shelston! Alright, me. Does he resolve? Shelston? Yeah. <laughs> I need some lands. Not drawing any lands. Alright. We have a 3 1. I have a 3 3. That gives me value if you kill it. Oh. Oh, not if it's exile. Oh man, Shelton just got all the answers here. Well, let's see if you can answer this question, Beast. Oh, no priority was held. Uh oh, you're in trouble. I know you don't have counter spells now. Shellstad! Oh, he might draw some now. Yeah, I'm willing to bet he drew a counter spell. Alright. Uh, oh, Heartless Act. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, kill your Bone Crusher. Put flying on my questing beast. Take seven. Woo! <laughs> I love that smashing sound. Uh oh. Why are you looking at my questing beast? No attacks? Oh. Um, should I blow up this bar? Uh, no, I think I want to save this removal spell. Just let him block it. Oh, wait a minute. That might put my question beast in burn range. I maybe shouldn't have done that. Counter this artisan. Yeah, he's... Ah, uh, I didn't think about that. All right. Well, my Fiend Artisan's a 3-3 now. Should I put the wings? No, I'll just pass. I'll just pass and keep up this removal. Removal for your shiny ball guy. Let's go ahead and kill it. It's going to cost me four life, but he has to die. ASAP. Oh, man. Oh, all the counters. Alright, let me attempt to kill it again. Does he die? Just let him die. Let it go. No! Oh. oh, all these counter spells. Ah, uh, alright. Go. Shellston. You're being a party pooper. You're gonna offer a trade? All right. Uh. Well, I got Nissa. I think I just off the trade here. All right. Go ahead, play Nissa. Oh, no priority was held. 
take this three. And my will reigns supreme. Three to the dome. To you don't have any counters. You're fresh out. Oh, you have a bird though. We ain't worrying about him. Um. Uh, I think I'll just animate the land and go for Demonic Embrace and just go for the kill. Because I know he doesn't have a counter. So I think that's the play here. Discard this Nissa. Face! Uh! <laughs> yeah!